Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the FlyDigi Cyber Fox. These are wireless earphones designed for gaming because they have low latency and a design that looks kind of steampunk inspired with the LED accents which are glowing on the tips, which makes it look a little bit different, definitely has a gaming aesthetic. They come with 14 millimeter drivers and they have a half in your design. So similar to Apple AirPods, it's not quite completely noise isolating uh, or doesn't have really a traditional silicon tip. Again, the whole premise of this is the low latency, and to achieve that, they're still using a slightly more conventional neckband style compared to something that's TWS or truly wireless. Otherwise, they come with Qualcomm's aptX chip, high definition, so that definitely helps in terms of supporting codecs like, again, aptX, SBC, AAC, and there's even a patented additional technology that they call Fox Speed that further reduces the latency a little bit more, getting this down to as low as 40 million milliseconds. Obviously these can still be used to listen to music, they're just like any other pair of headphones just with a lower latency. These are rated to be IPX4 for sweat and water resistance if you're working out or running. So inside here this is what it looks like. The packaging is pretty well done. By the way this retails for around 55 bucks, sometimes goes on sale for a little less, similar to other pairs that you may see from companies like Meizu, from Xiaomi. Um, inside here we have the accessories which are inclusive of a soft carrying pouch. Inside of here, you'll find access to a USB Type-C charging cable. It takes about two hours to charge up. All right, so taking a closer look at the design, the neckband here is completely flexible. It's a very soft silicon, and that's why it can be compressed to fit into that small carrying pouch when you're on the road. It's very lightweight and pretty comfortable when you're wearing it since most of the weight is supported by this band. And so the buds themselves are ultra light and don't provide any stress or strain even if you're wearing them for the full say 16 hours if you're on an extended gaming session for instance. On the right side you'll find access to all the controls including volume keys and a power on and off switch and there's also a faint LED status light located on the side. After you're connected this can be used to play and pause your music and you can also tap and hold on this to control things like turning on or off the low latency mode. On the bottom of the side is where you find the type C port for charging but it's not covered up by any protective flap. Then on the outside is where we have actually a built-in microphone. It's kind of an interesting placement because it's a little closer to your neck compared to being integrated on the buds themselves. So when you speak into this particular side, that's how it picks up your voice. We can see the LED light on the tip of these uh, kind of triangle shape that looks pretty cool, especially in the dark. The color is two-toned gray and white. If you're curious, here's what it looks like against regular Apple AirPods. You can see the shape here is very similar. And what that means if, is if you're in a really crowded space or really noisy environment, this will also be a little more distracting since you'll hear some of the background noise creep in. It's not quite as immersive. Although for certain situations, like if you're walking down a busy street, maybe you want to still have some awareness of what's happening, some transparency, that's where this will come in handy. FlyDigi also comes with an application for the CyberFox and after you're connected, and download this app for iOS or Android, you can see some additional things like adjusting the latency more easily by using just the software controls. We're in the ultra low latency mode for gaming. There's also a kind of a, a slightly lower version here for other tasks like watching videos and a normal mode, which is best for highest quality music. So let's start immediately by doing a quick demo here of a game. I'm gonna put these close to the microphone and then hit on the trigger. So it's pretty good, in fact better than most average cheaper TWS buds that you can pick up for around the same price point, uh, which would have had a more significant lag between when you hit on the trigger key and then hearing the sound uh, when you're playing back an action game with higher frame rates, things like PUBG, shooter games, things like that, which can become distracting. But on these, it definitely makes the experience still feel quite good and natural. It is worth noting though that uh, because these have aptX HD, it probably works best if you're using it with an Android smartphone that supports aptX, the experience could be even better. When it comes to the audio quality, overall they're also very good in terms of being super clean and the 14.2 millimeter drivers being larger than the average pair of small uh, wireless buds. So if you are 
listening to bass heavy music for instance you'll definitely feel and can still appreciate the lower frequencies but it doesn't quite rumble and shake as much as something that has a tighter seal with that in your silicon tip style overall though the mids are very crisp and the trebles also have plenty of detail and it's a pretty enjoyable experience it makes it feel quite open and like you're listening to something in 3d almost at times which is great especially again for things like watching back a movie uh, the whole thing just really comes to life a few ending remarks though would be these don't have a magnetic end cap in terms of their hardware design so you can't stick the two caps together and wear it like a necklace like some of the other neckband style headsets we've seen in the past which i would have liked to see the second thing being that because they have this half in your design they're very easy to quickly pop in and out but at the same time not as suited for things like vigorous sports so that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the cyber fox uh, from fly digi a pair of uh, neckband style headphones which claims to be kind of gaming centric with its design as well as its low latencies. There are some other pairs in the market which have a dedicated gaming mode as well as a aptx low latency chip which can achieve kind of a similar effect so it's not going to be something that's completely new that we've never seen before so more than anything i would say it's the design and the aesthetic that really sets it apart and if you like what it looks like the sound quality also doesn't disappoint it is very lightweight and comfortable and again offers a great experience for gaming as well as watching videos without anything getting out of sync with each other. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Fly Digi Cyber Fox.